developers in the Power BI desktop is its integration with Python. You can use Python to import and transform data as well as create visualizations. You can also import pre built Python based visualizations onto the desktop without needing to write or interact with it. Hi all, I welcome you to this session on Python integration with Power BI. And here I'm going to explain how to work with Python on the Power BI desktop, focusing on how to perform Python specific tasks as opposed to diving deep into the Python language. For this reason, the scripts I'll be using as examples are extremely rudimentary and meant only to demonstrate how you can utilize Python in Power BI. Once you understand these concepts, you can then take advantage of Python's extensive and robust capabilities to analyze, transform, and visualize your data. So before we begin, let's look at our agenda for today. So first of all, I'm going to start out by talking a little bit about Python, followed by a few prerequisites and packages that need to be available and installed on your personal computers before running the scripts. Then we're going to learn how to use a Python script to import and transform data, followed by creating visualizations using Python. And finally, we're going to conclude the session. With that, I come to the end of my agenda. So what is Python or the Python programming language? Now, Python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language, which emphasizes on code readability within its notable use of significant white space. It's a fairly simple language to pick up and any experienced programmer with the knowledge of coding can pick up Python pretty easily. It is also a great decision for beginners to start their coding journey with Python. Now, there are a couple things to keep in mind before we can start this tutorial. Now, to run the Python scripts in Power BI Desktop, you need to install Python on your local machine. I downloaded mine from the Python official website, and the current Python scripting release supports the Unicode characters and spaces in the installation path. The Python Power BI integration requires the installation of two Python packages. First of all, you need Pandas, which is a software library for data manipulation and analysis. It offers data structures and operations for manipulating numerical tables and time series. Your imported data must be in the Pandas data frame, which is basically a two dimensional data structures, meaning that your data is aligned in a tabular fashion like having rows and columns. The second Python package you require is matplotlib, which is basically a plotting library for Python and its numerical mathematics extension NumPy. It provides an object-oriented API for embedding plots into applications using general purpose GUI toolkits such as Kinter, WXPython, Qt, etc. Now you can install these packages in a console or shell. You can use the pip command line tool to install these two packages. And that is all I have to say in terms of prerequisites. Now let's move on to actually using Python scripts in Power BI. For that, we need to move on to our demo machine. Okay, now first things first, in the Power BI desktop, first we are gonna go to file and then options and settings and select the option options. Now this is going to take some time. Okay, here we are going to select Python scripting and the Python script options page appears. Now here what you can see up top in the detected Python home directories, you're going to find your local Python installation path. If it is not already given, you can just click on the arrow and select the path that leads to your Python home directory. In here, you can see the Python's installation local path here is in users, app data, local programs. Make sure the path is for the local Python installation that you want Power BI Desktop to use. Here at the bottom, you have your detected Python IDEs. Since the Power BI could not select the Python IDE that I preferred, you basically, I clicked on other and then I browse to the Python IDE, which I wanted, which is the Visual Studio Code. Once you specify your Python installation, you are ready to begin running Python scripts in the Power BI desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and select OK. Now, in just a few steps, you can run Python scripts and create a data model. From this model, you can create reports and share them on Power BI service. So first of all, we need to prepare a Python script. 
So first I'm going to create a script in my local Python development environment and make sure it runs successfully. For example, here's a simple Python script that imports pandas and uses a data frame. Okay. When the script runs, here is what I get in return. Kindly look at this output right here. Now, when preparing and running a Python script in the Power BI desktop, there are actually a few limitations. Firstly, only pandas data frames are imported. So make sure that the data you want to import to Power BI is represented in a data frame like I have done in line number three. Any Python script that runs longer than 30 minute times out. Interactive calls in Python scripts such as waiting for user input halts the scripts execution and when setting the working directory within the Python script, you must define a full path to the working directory rather than a relative path, which we have already done before. Also, another important thing is that nested tables are currently not supported in the newest version of Power BI. Let's hope that is fixed in the months to come. So now that we've run it here, I'm going to take this code and I'm going to try and run this Python script in the Power BI desktop. So right now I'm on my Power BI desktop in the home ribbon. I'm going to select get data. Now this is going to take some time. Okay. I'm going to select other here. I'm going to go down and select Python script. I'm going to click on connect. Now your local latest installed Python version is selected as your Python engine. So you'll see a dialog box like so on your screens and here I'm going to copy my Python script that I had earlier run in the IDE. I'm going to select OK and if the script runs successfully, then the navigator is supposed to appear and you can load the data and use it. Kindly be patient. It's going to take some time to connect. And here for this example, I'm going to select DF or my data frame, which is this small little table and then click on load. Now if Python isn't installed or identified. You might find a warning that displays. You can also see a warning if you have multiple local machine installations. Now that's pretty easy to troubleshoot you. All you have to do is revisit and review the previous install Python and enable Python scripting sections and uninstall the previous versions of Python. You can then refresh a Python script in the Power BI desktop. You can then refresh a Python script in the Power BI desktop by going to the home ribbon and selecting a refresh, which is this button right here. And when you refresh a Python script, Power BI runs the script again. It's as easy as that. Now that you know how to import data using your Python script, let's actually import some data of use which we can layer visualizations on top of. All right. So for this, I am going to use a different script. That one was just a dummy, the one that we used before. I only wanted to show you how you can import a simple data set using a Python script. Like I had given the disclaimer earlier, the scripts are going to be pretty rudimentary because this is not about Python programming, but about how to use Python in the Power BI desktop. So I'm going to do the same thing again. And this time I am actually going to have some data with more dimension. So here I'm creating a data frame again, but this time I have more dimensions. I have names, age, weight, gender, state, the number of children and pets as well. So I am going to click on OK and wait till it connects. Again, I'm going to select the data frame. As I had told you earlier, we have multiple columns this time. You can go on to transform data, which is going to open the Power Query editor. And you can see your table, make changes by adding to the query right here. We have a tutorial about this. You can go ahead and check that. I'll link that in the description box as well. And I see everything is fine. I'm just going to close and apply. And on the right on my fields, you can see my data frame here. We have all of the columns as well as calculated columns. We have ages, children, pets, weight, so on and so forth. Now we're going to see how we can use beautiful visualizations in the Power BI desktop by using Python. So now to begin with, let's select the Python visual, which is right here on the visualization pane in the PY icon. This will lead to a prompt named enable script visuals. 
this is a dialog box that is going to appear the first time you use it in every power bi session so here we're going to click enable now when you add a python visual to a report power bi desktop is going to take the following two actions first one is going to be your placeholder python visual image which appears on your report canvas this one is right here it's a blank visualization with the python icon on it and all of it is grayed out because we have no values and then you have the python script editor which appears along the bottom of the center pin which you can see right here now the thing is your python script can only use fields added to the values section which is right here on the right so what we're going to do is we are going to drag the age name children gender pets a bunch of different fields to the value section which already says add data fields here so basically i dragged all my fields in there and now we can add or remove fields from the value section while working on our python script power bi desktop will automatically detect these field changes now the default aggregation type for python visuals is do not summarize all right remember that for later use so now you can use the data you have selected for creating a plot so as you select or remove these fields on the right supporting code in the python script editor which is here is automatically going to be generated or removed based on your selections the python script editor generates this binding code which is given right here basically the editor has created a data set data frame right here with all the fields that you have added age children f name gender pet state and weight now similar to table visuals fields are grouped and duplicate rows appear only once in certain cases you might not want automatic grouping to occur or you'll want all the rows to appear including duplicates if so you can add an index field to your data set that causes all the rows to be considered unique which prevents grouping now you can access columns in the data set using their respected names for example you can use the variable age to call age in your python script to access the age field now with the data frame automatically generated by the fields that you selected you're ready to go ahead and write a python script which results in plotting to the python default device now when the script is complete you can go ahead select run which is right here which is on the python script editor title bar power bi desktop replots visuals if one of two events occur first of all when you select run from the python script editor title bar and second whenever a data change occurs due to data refresh filtering or highlighting so when you run a python script that results in an error the python visual isn't plotted and the canvas error message appears then you can go ahead and select see details from the message and to get a larger view of the presentations you can minimize or maximize the script editor and the blank visualization as you please so that's enough chit chat for now let's create some visuals so first of all we're going to try and create a scatter plot to see if there's a correlation between age and height so i'm going to go to the line which says paste or type your script here and on the next line i'm going to paste the script which i have already created and your python script editor pane should now look something like this the matplotlib library is imported to port and create our visuals so now let's go ahead and select run script so as you can see a visualization has appeared so i'm going to like make it slightly larger for it to be visible now when you run the script button this scatter plot generates in the placeholder python visual image you can look at the correlation between the ages and weights of the children now what else can we do i'm thinking let's create a line plot with multiple columns let's go to a fresh new page and do the same thing as we did before except for this time we are going to create a line plot for each person showing their number of children and pets again we have the same sort of basic frame of code again paste or type your script here and here basically i have created a line plot showing the number of children and
here on the x axis is going to be the names of people and on the y axis is going to be represented their number of children and pets and the line of pets is going to be represented in the color red then i'm going to run the script and as you can see children appear in blue while pets appear in red now you basically have a line plot with multiple columns showing the children and pets of every person on the data set another interesting chart you can do with this is the basic bar plot for that again i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to create a bar plot in a fresh canvas now when you run the script you basically have a bar chart or a bar plot representing all the ages of all the people that are there in your data frame and that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do if you explore the potential of python in power bi now this tutorial was basically designed to help you get started with creating visuals with python in the power bi desktop this barely scratches the surface about the many options and capabilities for creating visual reports using python pandas and matplotlib library there's a lot more information that you can tap into if you go on to power bi's community or maybe python's community but this is basically all you need to know to get started with python in power bi now let's go ahead and look at a few known limitations of this service now python visuals in power bi desktop have a couple limitations starting with the data size limitations basically the data used by the python visual for plotting is limited to 150000 rows if it is more than that then only the top 150000 rows are used and a message is displayed on the image stating the same additionally the input data has a limit of 250 mb the second is resolution which basically refers to visuals are displayed at 72 dpi third you have calculation time limitation if a python visual calculation exceeds 5 minutes the execution times out which results in an error then you have relationships as with other power bi desktop visuals if data fields from different tables with no defined relationship between them are selected you basically get thrown an error at then you have python visuals which are refreshed upon data updates filtering and highlighting then you have something which is kind of a given python visuals can be refreshed upon data updates filtering and highlighting however this image itself isn't interactive and cannot be the source of cross filtering followed by next which obviously gives rise to the next problem which is that python visuals respond to highlighting other visuals but you can't click on elements in the python visual to cross filter other elements pretty self explanatory and finally only plots that are plotted to the python default display device are displayed correctly on the canvas so a good practice is to explicitly avoid using a different python display device in conclusion i would like to say that the integration of python into power bi desktop provides a very powerful tool for transforming and presenting business intelligence data python is a multi purpose eclectic comprehensive language which is extensively implemented and has a very large and active user community in power bi you can use python to import and modify data as well as create a wide range of visualizations that provide in-depth insights into the data those who are already well versed in python should find that using it in power bi is a pretty simple and straightforward process even those less experienced with python could find it well worth the effort to try out power bi desktop along with python features i shall leave you with that thought my name is upasna thank you and have a great day